today's video, I'm gonna show you all of the steps to install iOS 16 beta on your iPhone and also how to downgrade to iOS 15 if you want. But be aware that you will need a computer for the downgrade section. And before we get started with the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoy this type of videos and subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet. This video is sponsored by SetApp, an incredible cross-platform suite which gives you access to over 200 iOS and macOS applications without any additional cost. You only need to pay for your subscription and choose the apps that you'd like to use. Now, a great benefit is that you can start a free trial when you use the link listed down below in the description. The first thing that you need to do is download the beta profile on your iPhone. In explaining a little bit what this beta profile is, it simulates that you have a developer's account on your iPhone even if you don't. So search for iOS 16 beta profile on Google, press on the betaprofiles.com link, go down, press install profile, allow download, and wait for it to finish. Then go to settings, press on profile downloaded, install, enter your passcode, press on install and then install again. And here it will tell you that a restart is required. So press on restart and wait for your iPhone to turn back on. When your iPhone turns back on, go to settings, general, software update, wait a little bit for it to load and there you have it the ios 16 developer beta is now available for you so simply press on download and install add your passcode here agree to the terms and conditions and wait for the update to finish and that's it ios 16 is installed on your iphone now, in case you want to go back to iOS 15, I'm going to show you all of the steps to remove the beta profile and downgrade. For this process, be aware that you will need a computer. So to start off, we will need to remove the beta profile. To do this, go to settings on your iPhone and then general and VPN and device management. Here, click on the profile, remove profile and click on remove. You will be asked to restart your device, but this is not needed at this moment, so feel free to choose not now. And here you're going to need to move to the computer. I have a Mac, so I'm going to use the Finder to continue the process, but if you have a Windows computer, you will need to download iTunes. On the computer, you will need to download the iOS 15 firmware file, so you can Google iOS 15 firmware or use the link listed down below in the description. Here, you're going to need to choose your iPhone model. Mine is the iPhone SE 3, so the first option. Click on it. After that, you will see the signed IPSW files. Choose the green firmware file and click on download. Now, on your computer, you will need to open the Finder and then connect your iPhone to your computer using its cable. Press on Trust Device on both devices, iPhone and computer and click on iPhone on the left side of the Finder window. Wait a few seconds for it to load, and now we're going to start the restoring process. Because iOS 16 is a beta software, we cannot simply press on restart. You will need to back up your device first. So make sure to choose to back up all the data to this Mac and click on backup now. After the backup is finished, you will need to left click the restore iPhone button while pressing the option key on the keyboard. So press on option and then left click restore iPhone on the Mac. If by any chance find my is enabled on your iPhone, you will be proudly asked to disable it. I already had it disabled on my iPhone, so that is why it didn't ask me. But after disabling Find My, repeat the last step and look for your downloaded file. Yours will probably be on the downloads folder just like mine, so after finding it, click on Open it and then Restore. The downgrade will start now, so just wait a few minutes for it to finish. And okay. The downgrade is now complete. If you check your device, it will probably be showing the old lock screen. By old, I mean iOS 15. But wait, we're not done yet. We need to quickly modify the backup. 
To do this, make sure you go to Apple's link that is listed down below in the description to find the path for the backup folder on the Mac. Look for the path that you need. I have a Mac, as I mentioned, so I'm going to copy the path for the Mac's backup folder. Then I'm going to go back to the desktop and on the menu bar, I'm going to click on go and then go to folder. Here, paste that path and hit return. Open the backup folder. If you have multiple folders, open the most recent one. You scroll all the way down and now make sure to right click the info.plist file and open it with any text editor. Once you're in it, press on command F on your keyboard to search for 16.0 and hit return. Here, the only thing you will need to do is replace 16.0 to 15.0. Then press on command S on the keyboard to save the file and close it. Going back to the finder, click on the iPhone again, wait for it to load, then select restore from this backup and click on continue. We just modified the backup so you shouldn't get any error messages. So the only thing you need to do is wait for it to finish. Okay, the restoring process is now complete. You will see a progress bar on your iPhone, which is normal. Just wait for it to finish as well and you will be brought back to the hello screen. Here, simply follow the on-screen instructions and that's it. The downgrade was complete. If you want to make sure that your iPhone is back on iOS 15, go to settings, general, software update, and there you have it, iOS 15.5. And this is how you can download iOS 16 and downgrade to iOS 15 on your iPhone. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.